What's going on guys? Welcome to YouGoTech007. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can configure your IP address publicly to remotely access your Android or computer device. Now, there are certain situations whereby you will want to go public out of your LAN as your local area network. Um, most times in your cyber defense exercise, you want to go one that is wide area network. So we'll be doing that in here. So here I'm going to check my IP address quickly by typing ifconfig. As you can see here, this is local IP address, which is 192.168.135.130. Right. So um, we are going to demonstrate how you're going to change that up to a public address public IP address all right so um, by using what we call the point-to-point -point tunneling protocol so we're going to install some of these packages which is um, sudo app get installed network manager pptp and the other one is going to we're going to add on to hit gnome right so you're going to install these two packages so um, the next thing we are going to do is to quickly head on to this icon here, which is our network and click on configure VPN. So here we already have one. I'm going to click on this plus sign and then click on the drop down menu here. And we're going to navigate downwards to where we have point to point tunneling protocol. Click on this. Then we're going to click on create. Then you can probably give it any name that you want in here, right? And then after this, we are going to proceed to give it the gateway name. Um, for the gateway, we are going to have here pptp dot table dot net. And as for the username and password, we'll come to this later on. All right. And then uh, we're going to click on the advanced tab button and then click on check the use point to point encryption and then click um, click on apply then click save. Right. So for the username and password, we'll come to that. Click save. So we can see it here. And then let's exit out of this. All right. So I'll quickly go to my Google. Let's check the IF config, check my IP address once more. So let me quickly go to open up my Google Chrome by typing here Google Tag Chrome. Just wait on the, these to come up. All right, so uh, here we'll put in our password and our Chrome is up and running. Let's just X out of this. All right, so in here, we will need some certain websites. We're going to need IP jet table. So we'll click on this, IP jet table dot net. Right. OK, so we're going to need um, uh, proxy site dot com also. And then um, lastly, here we're going to be opening our IP jet table. And lastly, we're going to need, be needing a temporary email address, which is the get nada. You can also use um, any of your choice, any disposable temporary email. All right. So um, back in here, uh, please don't click on the um, I'm registering here. Don't click on it. We're going to open that using the proxy site. So copy this and then we're going to paste it here in the proxy site. And then click go. All right, so here we can now click on I'm registering. All right, so it's changing that to English. Then we're going to insert here our email address. All right, you can create your email address, um, but I'm going, to, I'm going to be using this disposable um, email. So just type in here um, any any name just give it pretty much give it any name and then um, just click on add now the name must be something unique 
okay so here we'll head back to here and then paste it in here as the email address then um, we are going to type in here the verification code which is vf 24 s 4 should be exactly as it is and then click on register all right so we're done so we're going to head back to our disposable email we're going to wait on to see if there's a message message for us which we've seen we'll click on that and then we're going to copy this link and then open it up using the proxy site server do not click and open the link in here so i'm just going to go back to proxy site server to get rid of this and then paste the link here and then click on go so here we have the username and then it's we are to input the password so we have it in here just copy this copy and then here i'm going to paste it in and then click in here connect and here we have expired access okay i wanted to demonstrate this because um, you can also get this kind of a problem right when you're um, doing this method so we're going to repeat the process again all right so here we're going to click on the add inbox type in here a random name all right click on add now the same process what we did before we're repeating it let's go back and then here just copy this and then in the proxy site, I'm going to get rid of this. Let's refresh this. All right, so we're going to paste it in here and then click go. And then here, I'm going to click on the um, registering. So if it doesn't work the first time, you can also repeat the same process. So here, we're going to get the email. and then i'm going to paste it in here and then do the same thing and type in the verification code with the same lower and uppercase character and then click on register oops there's a mistake here All right let's type in the verification code very well okay capital c and two And we're good all right so um we hope this time around we'll be able to be successful uh, we are going to get our message right now all right so the message is right here so we're going to click on it and then i'm going to copy this link copy that and then we're going to go back to the proxy site just go back or you could basically open up another tab for it so i'm going to paste it in here and then I'm going to click go so i'm opening the link using the proxy sites uh, website and then for the password i'm going to get that in here copy this and then paste it in here and then click on connection and then once you get this trial period here, you're good. You can also register, um, pay for the full subscription in here. That's the IP jet table. All right, if you want to have it for a long time. Okay, so since we are good, we will now just minimize this. Click on this icon, click on VPN connection, configure VPN. And then in here, we'll select this, which we created. Click on the gear icon. And then we're going to impute here the username and the password. So from the email, just going to copy this. And then um, here, we're going to paste that in here. And then for the password, we're going to copy this also. This one below. Make sure you copy this. And then... Um, Come in here to our editing and then paste it in here. All right, so we're going to paste that in here. And make sure you check that for all users and then click on save. 
now you're going to get a small dot appearing here when we select the um, vpn so we'll click on this to see a small dot in here it means that we are connected if that dot should stay for longer than 10 seconds it means that you're connected so let's quickly check up our ip address so here i'm going to type in here ifconfig um then hit enter and as you can see we have our local we also have our public which is 1412551593 all right so this is the public ip address so you can basically use the public ip address for anything you want to create if you want to create an artifact if you want to create a payload you can also use this at the public ip address so let's quickly go to chrome and then type in here what's my ip and click enter as you can see here we have our ip address here all right so you could use this with the msf venom or uh, msf console so in uh, the case whereby you have the l host you can insert this one instead of using the local um, ip address okay so you can just copy this All right, so um, here I'm just quickly going to generate an APK file, and then here I'm going to insert the public IP address like so. So click on paste. All right. Um, then uh, here I'm going to hit um, enter. You can basically change the output, but I'll leave it as is. All right, so here we're going to hit enter. Uh, one thing you must note is uh, the IP address changes. Um, so it can be a kind of problem, all right? Um, because um, sometimes it changes like every 30, every 10 minutes, every 30 minutes. Um, it changes because that's for protection. So, uh, but there's a way I am, we can go through that by using the no ip address i'll be demonstrating that tutorial in the next video um, so that if even if the ip address changes uh, with your domain name is not going to affect you right so and the no ip address is just basically going to uh, refresh and then still get still map the ip address to the uh, domain name that way you will be good and up and running all right, so here is my APK. You can also generate your listener here by typing um, MSF console. All right, so we're gonna wait on that to kick in. All right, so guys, if you are enjoying this video, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. All right, so here, and also share the video with your friends. All right, so um, we can then come down here and uh, type in here use exploit multi handler. You can basically set up your handler in here by typing this command. Hit enter on that, and then we're going to set up our just just clear this for now, and then type here. Um, it's coming here just wanted to increase the size of these click zoom in zoom in zoom in all right so here i'm just going to type here show options um, all right so let's set the uh, payload to be Android, um, this is going to be interpreter uh, reverse underscore TCP. Hit enter on that, All right? So let's type in here show options. So here we're just gonna set in our L host. So our L host here, let's just clear this terminal. So um, set L host. And the L host here is going to be our public IP address. All 
let's quickly check on our IP address once more. Right, so this is it. Okay, so our L part. All right, guys, so um, this will be all. Um, you can take it up further. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and also share with your friends. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.